And there's probably another vowel involved. So what's the other vowel? E. e. So R O O T. The Making Word Strategy, developed by Patricia Cunningham, is recognized as a high impact strategy, as its design incorporates multiple research based best practices, thereby increasing engagement and maximizing student learning. The Making Word Strategy applies the knowledge that learning is enhanced when students are able to make real-world connections. With this in mind, teachers select a vocabulary term from a list of words chosen for their relevance to students' everyday lives and those found across the curriculum. All right. The next word that I would like you to write is rooster. Rooster. We've seen many roosters down in the garden. The strategy applies a hands-on approach that promotes total participation. Throughout the lesson, students manipulate letters to spell words as directed by their teacher. This allows for a variety of spelling and vocabulary connections and allows all students to demonstrate their level of understanding simultaneously, providing the teacher with endless opportunities to assess and differentiate to meet the needs of all learners. This is the Making Word Strategy. Okay, boys and girls, so today we are going to do our Making Words activity, okay? So before we go over all the rules of our Making Words activity, I just want to explain why we would do this activity. So you have some cards at your desk. You can just leave them there for right now. We'll use them in a moment. But one of our big questions, one of our essential questions that we have been talking about throughout this unit is, how can we choose words and phrases to better express ourselves. If we think, what does that mean? Well, when we're writing and when we're speaking to someone, we want to choose good, strong, powerful words, right? We want to use those words so that we can become better writers. And so when we are talking to people, that they understand what we're saying, okay? So when we do this making words activity, we are going to be learning how to spell new words, and we are going to be learning the meanings of new words, so new vocabulary words for us too, so that we can use those words to help better express ourselves, okay? We have a few goals and some objectives that are going to help us get there. So here are the things that we are going to do in today's lesson. Are you ready? We are going to identify consonants and short and long vowels. Okay, we know what short and long vowels are, right? Thumbs up if you know what short and long vowels are, okay? We are going to apply knowledge of vowel teams like silent E and plurals. Now that word plurals, we talked about the word singular and the word plural. Just raise your hand if you can remember what the word plural means. Myra? Um, like can you say that a little bit louder? More than, one. more than one, that's right. When we have something that is plural, that means that there's more than one. Good. We are also going to sort words by their common patterns. So we might find that while we're making words that some of the words all have the same pattern in them. And we are going to develop sentences using given words. So once we're done creating new words, you guys are going to get the chance to create your own sentences using some of those new words that we have made, okay? So our goals are to be able to tell the difference between short and long vowels. So let's say this I can statement. So repeat after me. I can, I can tell, the difference tell the difference between long and short vowels, between long and short vowels in, spoken words. in spoken words. That means when we're saying words out loud, we can hear the difference and tell whether the vowel sounds are short or whether they're long. Okay. I can, I can read long vowel words with the silent e, with a silent e and, vowel teams. and vowel teams. Sneaky silent e. Thumbs up if you know what sneaky silent e's job is. So it seems like some of you can already do some of these things, right? And I can, I can. sort words sort into categories. <laughs> we'll talk more about this one later, but when we're done, then we're going to sort words by what we notice, by what patterns we see, okay? So in this Making Words activity, we have letter tiles. Everyone has letter tiles at their desk. 
Some of the letter tiles are black. Some of the letter tiles are red. So take a look and tell me why you think that is. Ja? Because uh, all, all the red ones are, are vowels and the rest are consonants. That is great. Let's give them six claps. Good. Ja said that the red letters are vowels and the black ones are consonants. That's right. Let's review all of our vowels really quickly. What are our vowels? We, we know A, A E, e I, I, O, U. Okay. So you have the same letter tiles that I do here. So the first thing that I would like you to do is to put your letter tiles in the same order that you see displayed up here on our pocket chart, please. And they can go at the top of your table because we will be pulling them down as we need them. So let's check through these together and make sure we have everything we need. Okay, E. So I want you to put your finger on each letter tile as I say them. E, O, O, R, R, S, S, T. Thumbs up if you have them all. Okay, now a few important rules about the Making Words activity. When we're done making a word and you've pulled down your letter tiles, every time you are going to put those letter tiles back up in the same order, okay, until we make a new word. Once in a while I might say, keep your letters there and just switch the order. But for the most part, every time we make a word, we pull the tiles down and then we put them back up. Are we ready? So the first word that we are going to make only has two letters. But as we go on, we're going to make bigger and bigger words, maybe some with all of the tiles at the end. That'll make our secret word. And it's very important that if you think you know what our secret word is, keep it to yourself until the very end so that everyone else can have a chance to do it, okay? Okay, the first word that I want you to write is the word so. Please create the word so. So pull down the letters that you need to make the word so. Great job, all of you did this correctly. This is what your letter tile should look like. We have one consonant and we have one vowel, great job. Now, I have a question about the word so. I hear a certain vowel sound in the word so. What do you hear? I hear an O. Is it a short O or is it a long O? Raise your hand if you can tell me. All right, Addison? It's a long O. What sound does a long O make? O. o. So we know that when we have an O at the end of a word, it can be long, a long vowel. Remember that was one of our goals, something that we want to be able to do, okay? So the first word is so. Are we ready for the next one? This is our last two letter word. So put all of your tiles back up. Make sure they're staying right in the order we started with. Okay, good. Our next word is to, as in I am going to the store. To. I am going to the store. Okay, can you place it down on your table for me? There we go, we'll keep these up a little bit up here, that way they're not in the way. This time we'll be making three letter words. Okay, good. The word that I would like you to make is rot. If something is rotting, it is decomposing, it's getting old and it's falling apart. Rot. I see a few of you making some changes. Okay. Eli, I like the way that you're saying it to yourself too, if that helps. Good. So the word rot, take a look at my card. 
Some of you might need to make some changes. Rot. When we say the word rot, let me hear you say it. Rot. Ah. What kind of vowel is that? Is that a short O or a long O? Ah. Short O. So if it's a short O, how many O's do we need to make that sound? One. We need one. So we know this is a short O. When, when we hear rot, we hear er, ah, t, three sounds, with our middle sound being a short O. Can someone recall what I said the meaning of the word rot was? What does the word rot mean? Amira? It means like the egg will the rot and they into the drink. That's right. Our experiment we did, the eggs, they're going bad, right? They're rotting. Turn to your partner and tell them something that can rot. An egg. Besides an egg, can you think of anything else that can rot? I heard teeth, right? If we get a cavity. Good. Do you see that now? Or ox? I saw first we had this, and that would be t offer. Right? Okay, good. And then I, I heard you saying it to yourself, and then you changed it around. So that was a good strategy. All right. Good job. I heard some good things. Please put your letter tiles back up at the top. Make sure that they match our letter tiles up here in our pocket chart, please. Look here. Or. Why is the O long in this word? Why is the O long in this word? Okay, Bruno? Uh, it, has an e at the end. it has an E at the end. It has a sneaky E. And what does the sneaky E do, Bruno? It pinches the O. It makes it say its name. So we have a long O. Or, okay? That's good. Bruno, so that means that you were able to tell me what happens with a word when it has a silent E. That was one of the things that we want to be able to do by the end of this lesson. So if you need to fix it, change your word around to the correct spelling of or. This kind of or doesn't mean like, do you want pizza or ice cream? In fact, this kind of or means a type of metal or mineral. So here are some pictures of metal that's called ore, right? Special minerals. Have you seen anything like this before? Minerals called ore. This one is called uh, peacock ore because it has lots of pretty colors. Yeah. Boys, are we ready? Okay, now, are we ready for the next word? Okay. All right. Our next word might switch it up a little bit. We are going to move on to four letter words. So make sure all of your cards are back up at the top again. Addie, what does the word tour mean? Say it again. You could take a tour when you go someplace. That's right. That is one meaning of the word tour. This tour is a different kind of tour though. It means like ripping a paper. Ripping a paper. So to tear would be to rip a paper. So tour means that you already did it. It's in the past. Tor. Okay, so use the word tor in a sentence with your partner, please. I wrote paper yesterday. So turn to your partner and use the word tor in a sentence, please. I tore paper in the morning. Okay, I see a lot of movements going along with the word tour. Let me see a movement for the word tour. Great job. Our next word is wrote. Wrote. It's a four letter word. And the word wrote, as we are using it today, the word wrote is to repeat something, to try to memorize something, wrote. So even if you don't know what the word means, think about your rules of phonics and how we would make that long O. Wrote. Wrote. Good catch. Why did you decide to move those? What do you know about an E at the end? Let's see. Can you put, place them the right way so that I can read your word? 
Every single one of you got that word correct. Give yourselves a round of applause for that. Good job. Now I heard from some of you about how you knew how, why to add an E at the end of your word. I heard from Addison. Um, let's get someone over here. Adrian, how did you know to put an E at the end of your word? Wrote. Because it has a long O, you can hear it. It has a long O, you can hear it. So you were able to tell the difference between long and short vowels when I was speaking words to you. That's one of our I can statements. That was great. Great job. Okay. Put them all back again for me. We're getting closer and closer to our secret word. Keep the letters you have. Roost. 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 Now, a roost is a place where birds, bats, chickens settle in for the night. Maybe you've seen one of these before. Raise your hand if you've seen a roost before. A roost. A roost. Okay, maybe you've seen a roost before. Where have we seen that? Where have you seen a roost, Amira? At Gatorland, they did, they had a whole aviary with a roost. There was birds in Gatorland. That's right. Have you seen one somewhere else? Uh huh. So we've seen them. Do we have a small roost in our chicken coop down in the garden? That's right, we do. And I saw that all of you just switched two letters around. Which two letters did you switch around? S and T. We switched the S and T. What is our secret word, friends? Rooster. It's roosters. Plural, more than one. So the S comes at the end of our word. And here is our word. Roosters. So make sure your R has the vowel before it. E-R. And then the plural S. Okay. Great job. You guys got to it. That was a tough one, right? I thought some of you might have noticed when we had just an S left at the top after you did rooster. All you need to do was add the S just like we did in roots and in stores. Okay. So next we are going to do some writing. Thank you. 